Hello everyone, and welcome back to Skyblock, the series where I'm getting kind of lazy, but not in the way you'd think. You see, for a while now, I haven't really made any truly useful auto farms. The closest thing to that would be my melon and pumpkin farm because I have good trades for those. But I could be automating cobble, stone, anything else. And the thing is, that allows me to be more lazy because, you know, instead of just sitting and endlessly mining cobblestone here, I could have it being done automatically for me. I think you see the point, we're making auto farms today. However, before we can make some new auto farms, it's time to upgrade our old ones. And specifically, the cactus farm. Cause you see, out of all the auto farms I have, this is the easiest to make. It literally just takes a stack of cactus and a stack of sand per layer. Nothing could be easier than that. No redstone at all. And sand's not even a problem anymore since I made my sand duper, but I did have that sand farm the whole time. The only thing that's been keeping me back is the green wool of the exterior. But in between episodes and sometimes during episodes, I've been going and harvesting some wool from over here, and I'm not gonna do any now because I should be fine. And I've ended up... Wrong chest? With a good amount of green wool. Just over four stacks to be exact. So I should be good to build a few more layers and then increase my cacti output. The thing is, this really isn't that useful because cactus is pretty useless. But who cares, I'm doing it anyway. And if you enjoyed this episode, why not check out the other ones? They're a lot like this and I've been told they're a lot of fun to watch. I won't tell you who said that though. I'm, I'm not biased. At all. Promise. Well, I just spent half an hour expanding the most useless farm on my island, so the episode can only get better from here. And the reason we're underneath it right now is because I expanded the storage system, so now there's a lot more space in it, and ignore the fact I I'd, I'd, it was a complicated system, and I ran out of spruce, and I got lazy, and I didn't want to put anything there, so I just grabbed stone out of my dirt, it's boring. But the farm itself now is pretty tall. In fact, it's probably the third tallest thing on the island, barring the tree. We've got this thing, then probably my house, and then the farm. And eventually that farm is probably going to be the tallest thing. I will explain the other two farms at a later date, but you know, later date implies that it's not today. I'm not doing that right now. What I'm going to do now is work on the cobblestone farm. You see, I find myself needing cobblestone all the time. It's like the central resource of Skyblock. Bar wood. Wood's probably be used more. And the thing is, having to come here and mine it all the time is really not fun. Takes a lot of time, and you know, afterwards I feel like it's funny because it gets me nostalgic for Skyblock, but you know, I just spent like 20 minutes mining cobblestone, and then I realized I have a lot better things to do than recording Minecraft videos. But, uh, all that will go away if I just make a cobblestone farm. It's like therapy. That is a weird comparison. Well, uh, might as well get started. Now this farm, I actually have to give the credit to, to Jesse Linden. Well, well not because they designed the farm. They, they didn't do that. The person who designed the farm is, is this person. But Jesse was in my comments and they were like, hey, auto cobble farm. And then they got in contact with me on Discord, showed me a cool video for it, and uh, now I'm building it. So thanks, Jesse. Well, the farm is a massive success. Took a lot longer than the cactus farm did, but it's gonna be a lot more valuable than the cactus farm. You see, in just a short amount of time, I made that much cobblestone. And for context, I left the farm on for like 30 seconds, and it made that much. That would have taken me like 10 minutes to mine. Now earlier when I was describing the farm, I uh, forgot the name of the person who created it, but it was actually created by Shulkercraft. So you wanna check him out, please feel free to. But Let's do a minor demonstration of it. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is flip that lever, and now it's on. And then once we press the button, it just starts. So we just get to sit back and listen to the explosions. It's pretty nice. Now, as you can already see, a ton of cobblestone is coming out there. And if we look in, yeah, a lot of cobblestone filling up here. Now, if I just stand here for a bit, we're gonna get a lot of cobblestone. And I'm realizing now this would be a great segue to a part of the video where I need a lot of cobblestone, but I actually just don't. <laughs> hey, at least I'm gonna be able to get a lot of cobblestone in the future. So 
It's already overflowing enough that these hoppers are full and it's going all the way down here. This is incredible. Now, if I ever want to AFK this, I'm definitely going to have to light this whole thing here up because otherwise a bunch of creepers are probably going to come to the farm and blow it up. Which, I mean, it is an explosive farm, but yeah, I don't really want that. And also, I never noticed this, but waterlogged leaves are really cool. Non-flammable, non-explosives, and really cheap. Just a bit annoying to set up because it requires a lot of lava. Did I say lava? I meant water. Well, I actually just sat here for like a few minutes. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. All right, let me turn the farm off. Now, it may just look like there's a lot, but for every chest that's filling up, there's basically a full hopper of cobblestone. I think you see why this farm is efficient. Now, I don't really want to sit here and wait for it all to fill out into the chest, so I'm just going to leave it be in the background. Um, but yeah, this farm was a great idea. But now let's move on to something they reminded me of, and that many commenters have reminded me of, in the past. Skyblock episode 3. 60 episodes ago at this point, which I find pretty amazing. I went to the jungle island and completely destroyed it. It's just cobblestone now. I also then lost all of my jungle saplings, which is why I haven't had any jungle wood for the last 60 episodes, which has been over half a year. And no wandering trainers have sold it since. This is very sad. But what I have been told is that by fishing in a jungle biome, which this little area is, I can actually get bamboo. And guess what? Building a fishing pond requires a bit of cobblestone, so maybe I was wrong about not needing any. And maybe it's time for some fishing. Well guys, I've done it. Oh wait, you, you can't see it right now. I got the bamboo. While doing this, I was looking up on my phone the chances of catching bamboo. And it's a 0.9% chance. So you know, I was fully expecting to be there for a long time, you know, having to catch over a hundred fish. And then I got it. Now you might be wondering what I want bamboo for other than I don't, you know, completion's sake, I guess. And well, I want it. For a bamboo farm that still doesn't answer the question i just realized that basically bamboo can be used for you know smelting crafting sticks and in the next update making a new type of wood which should be really cool so i'd like to get a farm for that set up before you know the update comes granted the update's gonna be in like you know four months or something so you know i've got a thought of time and there's two designs of farm i could do one, a basically carbon copy of this farm. Except, instead of using water down there and having water there, I actually just need to have like a hopper minecart underneath. And it ends up being a lot more compact and probably more efficient, I'm not sure. Or, I can do a flying machine. What do you think I'm gonna do? Well, obviously the flying machine, that's cool. The thing is, beforehand, this thing has to actually grow. So I guess I'm gonna put my fish back in like the food chest or something and wait to get more bamboo. Wait, sugar cane. I've got lots of it. Bamboo, 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 bamboo. <gasps> Woo! I thought I missed for a second. That would have been bad. Oh, this is gonna go quickly actually. <laughs> You know, once again, I was expecting this to take a while. You know, I'd have to sit and wait for bamboo to grow. But no, I can just bone meal it. Well, after that time lapse, I might actually not need to make a bamboo farm. Just doing it by hand is actually incredibly effective. And it's one of those tasks where it's really easy, but at the same time, it's really manual. And those are what I love doing most in Minecraft. You know, it's a lot better than cobblestone mining. Don't have the nostalgia value, but... It's a lot more fun. It's like, you know, going and cutting down the trees here. It's the same thing over and over again, but I'm constantly moving, doing something else. It's a lot more fun. And that's why I'm really glad I never have to do cobblestone mining manually again. Wait, that means I can get rid of the cobblestone generator. Sorry for the detour here, but I just have to do this. I am never going to use this thing again. 
Goodbye, cobblestone generator. You've burned down my trading hall one too many times now. Actually, it's burned it down like three times. And the forest. This was not a good idea. Not destroying the thing. That Destroying the thing was a good idea. Having it that close to a wooden building was a bad idea. And hey, now I have a new place to store the cobblestone. It's over here. And it's like ten times more efficient. You know, this episode, I feel like we've made a lot of progress. And I've only really done like three things. I should do this type of episode more often. It really helps my self-esteem. So I guess it's time to make the automatic bamboo farm, which I think I want to do here. But I did just realize I'm going to need a lot more dirt. No, oh, no. I guess I'm going to duplicate more dirt. Well, you can tell I've done the work. Especially because I've got all the trees left over, which is what I do now. Just a sign of my laziness. But I had the cobblestone farm going the whole time, because why not? And you're not gonna believe how much cobblestone this thing made. One full double chest. Two full, almost full double chest. Three close to full double chest. Look at all of these. They are so full, they, they get kind of empty near the end. But it's amazing, and all of these hoppers are full too. Like, what is going on? This farm is way too good. I, I should have waited longer to build this. I This is like late game progression automatic farm here. It's really tiny, really easy, but it's so good. Go check out Shulkercraft's video right now. You need to build this. But right now, there is something I need to build, and it's going to be located right there. And its name starts with a B and ends with Ambu Farm. Yeah, you're never going to guess what this is. Alright, I've got a confession to make. I didn't really want to make an automatic bamboo farm, so I didn't. And why? Because harvesting bamboo is really easy, and actually incredibly automatic. I could literally just, you know, do this. It's, it's very easy. And I guarantee you I've gotten like a stack of bamboo just from that. Now I might hook up an automatic collection system, you know, with you know, hopper minecarts, all that. Um, but I don't, I don't want to do that either, you know. I'm on, I'm on my lazy arc. I'm, I'm feeling lazy. So lazy, in fact, I don't even know where to put the bamboo, so it's just going in the void. Can you believe I only got bamboo this episode and already have so much that I feel good throwing it away into the void? What other resource has been like that? I actually can't think of any. Hmm. Ooh, but you know what I can think of doing? Checking our automatic farms. These guys have been loaded basically the entire time because I've been in the area. This is coming our like industrial sector. We got the bamboo, cobblestone, all these. It's, it's going to be great. Well, this is all the new stuff. And in just about a time, we've gotten that. And, you know, all of this stuff here has come from just, you know, the days I've been here online. Since I built these like two episodes ago. I can't think about it now. But the ones that matter a bit more than that are the sugarcane and the pumpkin melons. So let's see how this is doing. Pretty good. Sugarcane's always been a bit slow. I do need to make some more layers for it, but it's really redstone expensive. And this one here, that's pretty good. Melons are the one that work at every single villager I have. Unfortunately, I only have one villager for pumpkins, which is unfortunate because they are a lot more, you know, effective. I get a lot more because, you know, you get a pumpkin per thing. But only this guy here, Mr. Bob, takes them, so you know. Thankfully, all of the ones in the half-built-down building do take them. I feel like a tornado went through this place. Glad none of them escaped. Well, actually, some of them did. I had to use a boat to get them back in. It was pretty funny. But as you might be able to tell, the episode is winding down. But that's not meaning I'm gonna end. I still want to do one more thing. And in fact, I probably should have segued it to it when I was over here. I'm gonna expand one of these. Probably sure cane. Actually, mom pumpkin makes more sense, and it's cheaper. So let's do that. I just got the dirt, in fact, too. This one, this farm is really easy to make, so I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Well, what a way to end an episode. For getting to start the time lapse, and then building the whole thing. But hey, we've now got a three-level melon and pumpkin farm. So, you know, now it's 
three times as efficient as one layer. And we almost have about 64 of each plant in the farm. You see, each layer has 16 of each. And once we get to four, we're gonna have a stack of each growing at all times, which is pretty nice. And it should actually reach the top of this perfectly, which is great. But hey, as I said, it's the end of the episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. We're getting really close to a thousand. And um, if you didn't enjoy the video, um, go check out another one. Or leave. It's up to you. And I'll see you next time where I'm probably going to do something. That's a factual statement.